Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the return of Melissa Benoist, and also a few other topics. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Before we get into the video, remember to become a member of the channel if you want member-exclusive review videos for shows like WandaVision, and maybe some of the other DC shows that I don't normally cover on the channel, please be sure to click the join button which is down below next to the subscribe button. You can become a member, become a super friend of the channel. Your contributions are much appreciated and hopefully you enjoy the exclusive content that comes with that. But anyway, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. So yes, today is the 19th and Supergirl returned yesterday to filming. They're officially back, Melissa is on set, she's back and ready to go, and I'm super excited to see our first look at her in the Supergirl suit, obviously back in action, like it's been such a long time since she was on set last, I believe the last time was last March maybe, so I mean it's pushing on nearly a year right now, considering we're kind of near the end of January, you know, slash the middle of January, whatever you classify it as, and so yeah, she's back, she is filming, for the first few episodes and they're going to be doing some coverage shots basically meaning in the episodes where they've missed out scenes where Melissa is supposed to be included they're going to be filming those in the first few weeks however I must warn you right now that Melissa is going to probably miss out on about two episodes this season that is where we're having the Young Danvers episodes because they were filming that a while ago that is Kyla Lee's directed episode but nevertheless Melissa is back that's super exciting hopefully you guys are hyped to see our first look at her back in the Supergirl suit, but I wanted to talk about a few things specifically today. So there were some leaks a while ago, we're going to be going over that, because some of those leaks for other shows have turned out to be true, so I'm going to re-go over kind of the main leak for Supergirl there, because that might be true, and also the topic that we're going to get to just now is in fact this. So, Supergirl's stunt double, aka Melissa's stunt double, posted a photo online and the description in the Instagram post says, Back from hiatus, and in our final stretch of shooting season 6, this is going to be fun. And so, this is obvious, we knew that they're going to be filming for a while. The final stretch is going to be a long stretch up until August, that's when Supergirl is set to end their filming for this season. So they're going to be sticking around. Well, so she posted this photo along with it, and this photo is very interesting, and it's got all of us theorizing. Because some people are like, oh, it's an old photo because something very obvious is in the suit. But why would she post this if she has just come back, you know, and they literally were suited up yesterday. So she could totally have taken this photo yesterday. So, I mean, it's not confirmed right now if this is an old photo or not. It's up in the air. However, we're going to theorize and pretend that it is real, right? So that way we can theorize about it. So basically this photo shows her, Melissa's stunt double, suited up in the old Supergirl costume. So the one with the skirt, the one that we've seen since season 1 and we have for a long time until we got the replacement with the pantsuit. And I've said this, Supergirl's suit is my favourite suit of all time. Well specifically the old one. However the new one is also very much so on par with the old one and it's one of my favourite Arrowverse suits. But, again, the old suit, I think, just pests it, you know, just marginally. But, nevertheless, it's an awesome suit, and, yes, yeah, so this photo includes this old suit. And for the sake of this video, again, take it with a grain of salt, we're gonna presume this photo is a new photo. So, with that, it seems like we may be going back to maybe a flashback or something like that. That could warrant the old suit coming back, or, just maybe, they are taking back this old suit. That is very possible, they can definitely replace it if they want at some point in the season. I'm going to say it's less likely that it's going to be like a full on replacement. If we do see the old suit, I'm going to say it's more likely to be a flashback. Because I think that they were really happy with this new suit, the pants suit, Melissa was super happy about it. And everyone was super vocal about how much they loved this new suit. I mean, you know, in terms of showrunners, the cast, and specifically Melissa, they were totally huge fans of this new suit with the pants also because it's in vancouver it gets very cold and you know that's a big bonus to have actual pants as they say in america or as it's known here trousers so i'm gonna say it's unlikely that this is not a flashback 
And again, this could just be an old photo from a past season, but I would say it's pretty likely that it is a new photo considering that the post along with this corresponds with them actually being back on set and she would have actually suited up. So maybe this is a thing that we're going to see at some point this season. We know we're doing flashbacks, especially with the Danvers flashbacks, you know, in Midvale and everything that is happening. So I don't see why there couldn't be extra flashbacks to, you know, more recently. Maybe you see Supergirl doing some superheroing in her old suit. But yeah, the next thing in this photo is the fact that she doesn't have bangs. She doesn't have her new hairstyle. And if you didn't know, stunt doubles, they always follow the same style, the same kind of look. You know, they make them look pretty much like the main star, in this case, Miss Noist. And recently, we've talked about this, we've seen photos where she was actually on set, that being Jennifer, Melissa's stunt double, and she definitely did not have bangs before they went on the break. And so, you know, I'm pretty sure she would have had that haircut if Melissa had said to, you know, the CW and the showrunners, oh, I'm going to have bangs this season. But if she told them, oh, I'm not going to have it this season, like, you know, her stunt double is going to have to copy her. So it seems like no bangs this season, going back to the original Supergirl hairstyle. Obviously, it's just a nitpick for people, you know, it's just a hairstyle, like, what's the big deal at the end of the day? But I got to admit, and I think you guys got to admit, it's pretty cool and pretty nostalgic if they do go back to that old hairstyle, especially for the last season. So you'll see no complaints over here. And so, yeah, very exciting. I really hope this is a new photo and we're going to be seeing the old suit at some point and we're going to be seeing the old hairstyle and everything is going to be kind of nostalgic in a nice way because I'm really looking forward to this final season. It's a shame that it's the final season, but nevertheless, still excited. Okay, so let's move on to the last thing. So I want to talk about those leaks that were leaked a long time ago. I believe it may have been in the summer. So when they were prepping to come back to filming and everything, there was a bunch of leaks that came out and I'm pretty sure it came from 4chan. I can't remember specifically, but I remember some of the leaks. And so some of the leaks have turned out to be false, but some of them have turned out to be true. So there was an announcement the other day that in the Flash season seven, they're going to be casting a new main villain or a villain and that person is Chillblane and so he was specifically mentioned in these leaks because these leaks spanned all of the shows and that part of the leak actually turned out to be true. Now I don't know if the writers and the showrunner Eric Wallace took influence from those leaks I'm going to say that's highly unlikely but either way you know some part of these leaks actually turned out to be true so Let's talk about Supergirl and what was leaked in that. So the big thing and the main thing I want to talk about is Supergirl's ending. So in the leak, it said that they were planning at the end of the season for Kara to go off into the future to join the Legion of Superheroes and in turn be with mon -El. So now considering that some of these leaks have come true and it was very specific, like Chillblain is not a very known character in the Flash comics. So I guess that can give some sort of credibility to the leaks. However, again, leaks are leaks and you know, maybe it was just a guess after all. And so in regards to Supergirl's ending, what happens if it does turn out to be true? I have said this and I've stuck by this since those leaks came out that I think it's actually pretty likely this may be one of the ways that they're thinking about ending the show. I don't know if they specifically decided yet, but this is definitely an idea that they probably tossed around because I would say it would make a lot of sense if that's how Supergirl goes away and that's like the last time we see her in the show because I don't think they're going to do an Oliver Queen and just kill her off because that's not Supergirl, you know? It's not the show, it's not the tone and that's more Arrow, right? So it's probably more likely that they're going to leave it off on a hopeful beat, and what would be a better hopeful beat than Supergirl going to the future to be with mon -El because he was such a defining part of her story, at least, you know, recently, since she became Supergirl, and, you know, it would make sense if she went off, joined the Legion, fights with the Legion, she does that in the comics, so I'm saying it's pretty likely, and... You know, considering that one of these leaks or a couple of these leaks have come true, there is still a chance that that may happen. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you think about that? Do you think it's likely that that will turn out to be true? Do you believe these leaks or not? 
let me know all in the comments down below. Also, are you excited for Melissa to return to filming and potentially getting a new look sometime in the next week or so? And do you think that photo was a new or old photo? Let me know in the comments down below. And would you be excited to see Melissa in the old suit once again with no bangs, original hairstyle? That would be pretty cool. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos. For now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.